Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto Trader Network. My name is Chris. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop on when we post new videos, which I know has been a while. Um, we've been kind of out of the uh, the scene for a little bit. I've been kind of focusing on family. Market has been not doing well, and I've just been kind of you know keeping my powder dry and and ready and uh, you know uh, waiting with a little bit of money on the sidelines to to, to kind of throw uh, throw some money in. Um, and I think we're about there. I think we're finally kind of you know at the bottom. Uh, you know, market's been basically just capitulating, just you know staying stagnant. Um, you know, ETH has been right around that sixteen hundred ish mark uh, for months now, um, and we'll jump jump into the $10 weekly crypto portfolio in just a minute here. But I have some news. I, this is a little bit old news. I know that uh, KuCoin, um, you know, did come out uh, and say that they were putting uh, KYC in for um, for all customers. Uh, and I really didn't think anything of it. This is a couple of months ago, um, but I logged into a couple of days ago, actually, and, 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 and noticed that when you go um, and I think I, I clicked the banner off, but when you love first log in, there's a banner up top that says, let's see if we can go back to the main page. There's a banner up top that says, um, there we go. Important notice based on your IP address. We currently do not provide services in your country region due to local laws, regulations, or policies. That's because of the KYC that they implemented, uh, a few months ago. Um, so really you cannot, and there's the banner up top, we can't do anything in KuCoin anymore. So not clickbait. I am pulling everything I own off of KuCoin. There's just no reason for me to stay on here. Um, you know, I was, uh, basically, um, you know, using KuCoin as my, my number one training platform, uh, with Binance kind of as my secondary. And I think I'm going to pretty much move to Binance as my primary, uh, trading platform at this point. Um, you know, not that Binance, uh, has not been in the news, you know, in the past couple of months, a bunch of times either. Um, you know, but I, I think that, uh, you know, Binance is a little bit safer. It is, uh, you know, uh, you know, able to be used in the United States. Uh, so all of you US based customers, you know, if you're on KuCoin, I would highly advise getting off of it. Um, you know, if you're able to KYC and you can just still use KuCoin, by all means, you know, uh, this isn't this isn't saying anything about, you know, KuCoin is going out of business or anything like that. I'm not trying to say that. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, please don't get the wrong impression. But for a US based customer, um, it just really doesn't make sense to stay on uh, any of the Chinese based platforms that have now gone to KYC like uh, KuCoin, Gate.io, is another one. Um, I have, uh, I think, um, I can't even remember what the token is. It's a gaming token over on gate.io that I bought um, a couple thousand dollars worth. Uh, so I need to go pull that off as well. But um, yeah, pretty much. So when you go into KuCoin here, um, if you have any ETH staking, that was my main uh, goal or focus over here. Um, so when we go into my assets and look at the, uh, the trading account that I have, Mainly what I had over here was uh, 6,000 in ETH, you know, 3.82 ETH. And uh, I had, you know, a little over a thousand in Bitcoin that I was using for lending. Um, I transferred over my DOT, um, uh, my SHIB, my MANA, and my SAND. And that's pretty much it from crypto.com. Um, the reason I did that a couple of months ago, uh, or actually it's been almost a year now, um, the reason I did that was because I had them on crypto.com and the uh, the earnings were better over here on KuCoin for um, staking. So, you know, I, I, I staked them over here because I was getting, uh, you know, better, uh, better percentages. Um, and uh, that's the reason why I moved everything over. I think I'll probably just move the majority of this stuff back to uh, crypto.com since they do still have the staking over there. And I still have a couple of, uh, you know, other coins over there as well. Um, and I stake all my crow over there still too. Too. Um, so crypto.com is a good one um, since they are, you know, a good, you know, KYC to US customer. Um, you know, same thing with Binance. We're good there. Uh, and if you have any recommendations on where I should go stake my ETH, I haven't really made that determination yet. Um, you know, crypto.com is, is decent. Uh, I, the percentage over there is not great. I think it's a little bit lower than normal. I think I looked at Binance and I think the staking over here. Uh, so if I go look at my dashboard. I think there was something over here that said staking was like 4% for ETH. So we'll take a look. Uh, yep. 4% for ETH. Um, and I have some staked ETH over here. Uh, I have like $900 worth of staked ETH over here. So we'll look at my, um, basically what I use for Binance. I was just using, uh, where is my, there we go. Crypto. 
I was really just using this to buy um, Uniswap. Uh, and like I said, I've got that little bit of ETH, um, and, and actually, I don't even look like that that's staked right now. So I think I might have pulled that off of staking as well. Um, so yeah, if you if you know a good place for uh, for ETH staking, please let me know. Um, you know, ultimately, if you are worried about anything, this is where you want to put all of your crypto. Um, and I did move quite a bit of stuff over here. I have some um, uh, I have some Bitcoin on here. Uh, um, I do have all of um, my Cardano is on here, um, and, and there is some staking on, uh, you know, actually on the Ledger platform as well. So, um, you know, that might be something I'm going to look into. I'll probably look into stuff, some of that stuff today, and I'll update you guys afterwards. But I wanted to kind of get a quick video out here on uh, on KuCoin and that I am moving everything off. If you do have staking um, of ETH on KuCoin, uh, if you go into KuCoin Earn here, and then we're going to click on... Where was it? Up here on balanced and go into ETH staking. This is where it'll show where your ETH staking is. As you can see, I redeemed mine already. I had the 3.8 ETH in there that were staked. Um, they'll show up as KS ETH if you have anything staked. Uh, there's a tiny little bit left. So we'll go ahead and click on redeem. And when we redeem, just click on all. It's going to click, you know, all of the uh, the money that you have in there or the ETH that you have in there. This KS ETH is going to turn into ETH, but is a five day waiting period. So uh, my five days is up as of today. And uh, now I can go ahead and move everything off. So I'll go ahead and click on redeem and click on confirm. And there you go. The rest of my tiny little minuscule amount of ETH will be moved over into my uh, trading account. And uh, in five days, I can move this off if I want. I'm not worried about it. I just kind of did that as an example. Um, but yeah, if you do uh, stake ETH over on KuCoin and you are not KYC, if you are US based, um, I would highly recommend moving it off of there. So that is what I'm going to do. Uh, the other thing that we had was the $10 a week crypto uh, portfolio. I kind of stopped moving everything into this in June. Uh, here, we'll reload it. I'm not sure why that's showing bad. Um, but yeah, I stopped in June. Um, I made some bad purchases here with Pepe and HXPE. I think this Hollywood X Pepe, I kind of went on in on a whim and threw a hundred bucks in. Just, just hey, what ha see what happens. Um, I'm pretty sure that went bust. I went to the website today to see if there was any kind of price or anything like that, and there was the website was down. So that's pretty much a hundred dollars down the drain. Uh, the Pepe, same thing. What are we lost on there? We've we've lost. We put in 200, we lost 148. So yeah, you know, we lost 73.96%. That's fantastic. So, um, you know, these meme coins did not do well, uh, you know, right when the market was kind of downturning, uh, unfortunately. And, um, you know, people went in on them. People did make money if you sold them right away. Unfortunately, I decided to hold on to mine and not sell. And that's what happens. So it is what it is. But as you can see, all red down the line, we've got one green where basically we bought, you know, 10 cents cheaper of uni uh you know back on uh, june 12th but um total portfolio we're in eleven hundred dollars uh value 678 so we're down almost 40 percent for the year so um not great uh and that's kind of why you know this was just all red and i just stopped kind of purchasing uh in june because um, you know, I was just kind of, uh, you know, getting fed up with the market, just going down, 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 down. And I know that's when you should be buying. So honestly, that's why I said, I, I just basically take that, took that money and I put it to the side and just decided as, as, as long as it's going down, I'm going to keep that money to the side and I'll go in, uh, you know, when I feel the time is right, which I think is probably about now. So, uh, like I said, I'll do an update on that in the uh, next week or so. We do have a lot of scams out there. I think I'm going to do a, uh, a scam update, um, you know, uh, on all of the, uh, the, the scam uh, tokens that are out there like that Amazon scam token that a lot of you guys uh, know that I updated on quite a bit. Um, they are still, still putting out videos. So we'll do an update down that in a week or two. And that's pretty much all I got for you guys. So like I said, uh, links for ledgers and, uh, you know, down below uh, Trezor wallet, you know, go on Amazon, you know, grab a ledger or a Trezor. Those are the two that I know that work really well. Um, if you want to self uh, self-maintain your crypto. Um, you know, this is the only place where your keys are safe, where your crypto is safe. Uh, anytime you're on an exchange, you have risk. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to keep some of my stuff on an exchange, but I'm think I'm going to move most of uh, my crypto to my ledger. Um, about half of it is on there now. And, uh, anything that I can't stake is going on the ledger. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Have a good one. And I'll see you in the next one.